Hello, Onshape designers and geometry lovers. Welcome to this tutorial where we will build a triacus icosahedron. So an icosahedron is a body with 20 equal triangular faces. And on top of each face sits a triangular pyramid. Let me show you here the, the icosahedron. We get a, a pentagonal form here. And it's all triangles, 20 triangles. Okay. This was first depicted in a book on mathematics from the early 16th century where Leonardo da Vinci made the illustrations. In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with the surface commands like revolve and fill, as well as curves, especially intersection curve and the bridging curve. We will copy bodies with the help of mate connectors to create this interesting body. Let's get started. So I'm here in an empty part studio. And I'll start with a sketch on the top plane. Press N for a normal view to that plane. P to hide all planes. S for my shortcuts. And I take that polygon sketch tool, place that in the origin, and make that five-sided. I'll make this one edge horizontally and give it a dimension of 44 and make a construction line from the origin to over here. And then I'll draw one circle from the origin, connect that to that vertex. That's it for sketch number one. I'll start the next sketch on the right plane with the line command. Give that that same di um, dimension, 44. and make a construction line here from that vertex to the origin. With the V, I apply a vertical constraint. That's it for sketch number two. Now I will define one plane with those three vertices. So I press S, plane, Three point, take that one, that one, and that one. Next, I place a sketch on that plane, take that polygon again, place that somewhere here, make that three sided, and with I, I place a coincident relationship between those vertices and with two of those. Okay, everything's defined. Again, I will draw one construction line here. Okay, finish that sketch. Hide that plane. Next, I will define a plane by three points. This one, that one, and that one. I can hide that plane. And now I will make a revolve of this edge around this axis. So it's a surface revolve. Take that. Take that. I'll make it uh, a one direction revolve 
for better visibility. And I want uh, that um, um, I will make a line from normal to this point intersecting with that edge here. Okay, I'll leave that at 105 degrees. Make that sketch visible again and draw this line on plane number two. So a sketch on plane number two, a line from here. First, I'll drop it there. With I coincident, I will place it on that edge. And then a right angle here. It's fully defined. That's it for that sketch. I can delete that surface and um, take the bridging curve command starting from here till there. This is a straight line, no, no curve there. And sketch for uh, visible again and make that one more time from here to there. And now I got one side defined of that triangle or that pyramid. So I go into the fill command, take that edge, that edge, and that one. And then I'll just make a circular pattern of that face around that axis and three times. All right. Let me hide all planes for a moment. Hide all sketches, I mean. And close that off here. Again with the fill command. And watch what happens here are three surfaces. And um, so closing that off makes this a solid part with these options merge with all. All right. I'll just apply some different color here, green. I'll make sketch three visible again. There it is. And um, sketch four as well. And define a mate connector at this very um, point. Go into the real line. Take that axis as my primary axis. And this one here is my secondary axis. Accept that. I make sketch number two visible again and apply another circular pattern to this part around this axis five times. All right. Next, we will work on the sides of our body. For this, I make sketch one visible again. Go into the extrude and we'll make a surface extrude of this circle in that direction. Something like that here. 41 millimeters, okay. And now we will make a revolve. We will revolve this edge around this axis. So I go into revolve, surface new. That edge, that axis, 
Again, I'll make a one direction. Go in like this. There it is. Now we will um, create a curve by the intersection of these two surfaces. So I go into intersection curve. This is group one. This is group two. I'll hide surfaces. There is the curve. I just need this vertex, actually, to define my next plane with the three points, those three. I can hide that curve and um, sketch on this plane uh, polygon. three-sided and pressing I coincident make these um, points coincident it's fully defined and I'll place a construction line here that's it for that sketch I want to define a mate connector with that origin here, I need to define an owner part. I'll take that one. Have a look at that. And we'll realign the secondary axis with that line. And accept that. Next, I will go into the transform tool. Take this body here, this part, as a copy by transform by mate connectors. And it's from this mate connector to that one. Switching the orientation. And that's it. I hide that plane and let's have a look. All right. We can hide sketch number one. So we get that axis and let's um, rotate, make a circular pattern of that body around that axis five times. Accept that. So we've modeled half of our body, and we just need to mirror and rotate that to the other side. So I will create a composite part of all the parts we have so far. I get this point here, and I will define a, a plane. I will define a plane with a plane point. Take the top plane and that vertex. Okay. I can hide the mate connectors by pressing K on the keyboard and we can hide all sketches mirror part mirror okay I'll select my composite part one over that um, sketch plane okay Let's have a look. So we got these two composite part, one, two. 
and we need to rotate this bottom composite part um, 36 degrees around our axis from sketch number two. So I go into the transform, rotate, um, composite part two, axis is that one, and it's 36 degrees. Hide that plane. Hide that sketch. Make that part visible again. And there it is. And there you have it. We have successfully designed a triacus icosahedron in on shape. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.